In this video, I'm going to explain three types of common message boxes that are available. There are more options than these, but these are the ones that I use most commonly. Without specifying anything on a message box, it's going to say, um, okay, it's going to be the answer. So in this first example, this message box is just going to say hello. So we run that and it says hello and we say okay and so that's the end of that. So now let's go on to this other one. This is my uh, weekly uh, creating a new worksheet every week. Now um, this is something that I do when I'm coding. I um, I need to know if the, the counts are already incrementing the way that I want them to do and I, I have it display things that I want to make sure is working the way I want it. So I'm doing this and I'm doing it just for three days or three weeks. And so let's run this and you'll see that it comes up every time. And so it says, oh, we're on the first count and we say, okay. And then we're on the second count and then we're on the third count and then we're done. So that way it shows you whether the count is updating the way that you want it to. So the next, next message box I'm going to tell you about is the yes, no one. And we have a value in C4 here. And so in the code here, it's asking um, uh, if the event range is not equal to C4, or if it's not equal to blank, then answer, this product is already entered. Do you want to en enter it again? And so let me just drag this over so you can see the rest of it. And it says uh, BB question, yes, no, default button, um, and so now we're going to go through the code and it what it's going to say is if it says yes then go to scan and scan what it does is it's going to select uh it's going to move to the next cell so you could enter the number again and if it if it doesn't if you don't say yes then it assumes you say no and then it's going to go to nd which is just going to end the sub and so let's run this and so you're going to get a message box up again The product is already entered. Do you want to scan it again? And so you go yes. And then it's going to go um, off to the next one. And then, then we're good. So you could have possibly entered again. Now let's let's run this again and let's say no. This product is being entered. Do you want? And so we're going to say no, which is the default. And so we'll say no. And then it's just, it just leaves it where it is. Nothing happens. The third message box that I'm going to explain to you is the one where it says, um, where it allows you to choose retry or cancel. So this is my uh, code that I wrote for turning um, scanned items green. And um, it's not automatically working, so we'll just have to go at the start here. And so what I'm, I'm saying here, message box not found, and I have BB retry and cancel. And if the answer is retry, then go to scan, which is at the top here, and it's going to look again to see if it's in there. And if it's uh, if it's not, then it's going to go to ND, and ND is at the bottom. These are labels that I have in my in my um, in my code. They're not exactly the most highly recommended things, but they work good for me, so I use them a lot. So let's um, Let's go in here and we'll go F8 through here. So, uh, so B, uh, B2 is my, my scanning, so it's looking for 99. And now it's going to say, not found, should we retry? So let's retry. And so it's going to go back up and retry it. And it didn't, didn't find it again, so it's gone out of there. So now let's run this again, and let's just go to cancel. So we're going to go, um, let's click on here then, and let's go on uh, F8 through this again. And so I'm going to go cancel. And it's gone to ND automatically. It didn't go back to retry. So that is my explanation of three commonly I three message boxes I commonly use. Please subscribe.